On a MIDI track, place Blue Cat Patchwork Synth VST. And then in this first pre section, we can load up the VST we want to use. In this case, Insta Composer. Now we can treat these rows in the parallel section like they are the channels in Insta Composer. But uh, as you can see, there's actually five tracks here and only four rows. So the first thing we'll do is add another row and we can do that like this. And there we go, that's better. Now on each of these, an instrument can be loaded. But they won't just work until you set up the actual patching. And this can be very easily done within patchwork. So first let's load up an instrument here. Now to get this to work we need to click where it says 1-1 one, one, and then go down to host and set the input MIDI to none. Now we're going to bring up that menu again and we're going to go down to port A and this is where we're going to start receiving our signal from. We don't want it from all channels, we want to be able to control each track separately in Insta Composer. So let's set this one to channel 1. Now like I said there isn't anything being sent to port A yet, so we need to set that up in Insta Composer. And then we just need to sort out the route in here as well. We can go to the routing options and as we can see the MIDI out is currently set to none. So change that to port A. Now Insta Composer's MIDI is being sent to port A and this is being then received by Massive. Let's just quickly see if that works. Okay, so that's the first track set up. And I'll show you again here with channel 2. And just to keep it simple, I'm going to load another instance of Massive and just repeat the same routing process. Now remember on host to set the MIDI input back to none. And on the MIDI input, we'll go for port A again because this is one we're sending the signal to. And we're already using channel 1, so this time let's use channel 2. Now when we go back to Insta Composer, uh, we should be able to add a second track, generate some MIDI for it. Now once we've generated some MIDI here, uh, we just need to remember to go back and activate this second track so we can hear it. You can see only the top one is currently activated. Now we can hear both tracks playing. And then when we go back on Patchwork, we can choose to edit these instruments separately by clicking here. And we can change and edit the sounds as we want. Okay, so now I'll quickly set up the rest of the channels. For this example I'm just using Massive but of course you can use whatever instruments and plugins you want here and uh, in the columns to the right which you can expand on just the same as we did the rows you can add more um, VSTs and effects. And now we've got this set up we can use Insta Composer to its full potential. I'm listening to your love. 